Hi everyone, welcome to a small series of um, videos just outlining what else you can add to your website very easily, sort of in small different chunks. So in this video we're going to cover, like the title suggests, uh, contact forms. So say you want to add a something to the top of your uh, menu up here that says contact, you know, says a wee bit about what can you expect from contacting us, uh, and then a, a quick form where that would send an email directly to uh, you so they can get in contact via form rather than you know having your email at the bottom of the page so it's very simple to do all you'll need to do is go into uh, the dashboard in the top left hand corner it well not top, top left down the plugins gonna click add new and then here we're just going to type in contact form 7 and it'll be the first one at the top left hopefully so contact form 7 it's a very old plugin but it does what it says in the tin and it um, integrates very nicely into this website so once you've activated that on the left hand side you'll see contact comes up here now contact form 7 comes with a, a default contact form and to be honest it'll it'll do you know everything you need so in here you'll see your name your email the subject of um you know why you're emailing yourself or you know why is your uh, customer trying to get in touch uh, and then a quick um, text area so I'm actually going to remove that optional bit because you're going to want some kind of message and you'll see just after text email that there's a star that star basically makes makes that uh, field required so you'll see the brackets inside the brackets and it'll be text area and this will all make sense once we uh, submit it to the front end of the website, uh, which again I'll show you. Uh, next at the top it says mail. So in here you can leave these pretty much as they are, but you're probably going to want to change them. So you're going to put your email in here. So say that's, you know, mine is info at my DIY.site. Yours could be like, you know, whatever.com. Just like that. Uh, from so say it's from the same person so whatever your whatever your email is uh, so your subject could be the title so also before that it's good to kind of categorize what <clears throat> what's coming in so it could be a website contact form and then in here where it has the brackets whatever they type into this box here, the subject box, your subject, uh, will pop up in here. So you'll get an email with the subject of website contact form and then whatever they've typed in there. Uh, it'll reply to the person's email. You can kind of see how these correlate together. Your email here and then your email here. So that means that they are the same thing or whatever's typed into that box uh, will appear in this area. Uh, reply to just means that if you hit reply on the email that comes to you, it'll not go back to yourself uh, because it'll be from this person. It'll go back to the email that they have sent you. And then quickly underneath, you've got your name, your email, your subject, all that kind of stuff that's in, um, in the form here that we talked about earlier. Uh, and yeah, so say you want to add another field. Say... We're going to copy this actually we'll not copy it we'll, we'll make it from scratch so you'll give it some options here at the top so say you want to do both names so this could be first name and then we want to put a second name in for example but again this could be anything so we're going to add a text field click here so this is a required field and then say we change this to last dash name no default value or anything like that um, you don't need to put a placeholder in the field. If you do want to kind of um, give your customers an idea of what you're expecting in that field, so you could say use this text as a uh, placeholder, and then in here you would type in, you know, Smith or something, you know, a, a very generic uh, last name, but we're not going to put that in there. We're going to just leave it blank. Next, we're just going to insert the tag. So you'll see how that inserts. We've got the text. And then the last name uh, to add a label around it you can kind of see the HTML tags here we're just going to add the, the last one there copy this one add it before it 
move that across slightly and then type in last name so all we need to do now is save that go back up to the mail bit and then type down here where it says because this is the body that comes to you as a as a message you i'm sure you can understand that um this will be imagine this is an email that comes into your account that's going to be you know info at my diy uh, and then below that it's going to be the from and then the subject and then in the actual body of the email where the message is where the message is going to be um we type in here so last name and then at the top here you can kind of see where this new uh, bit has been it's in bold and the rest are in a slightly duller color that means that this isn't hasn't been added to the email yet but all the rest of them have so we're going to copy that and type it in here and that means when the email comes to us it'll come with the last name so that's good if you have any email or attachments so say you want to add an attachment so it could be a file here so say you go <clears throat> i'll quickly add a file just so you can see it so file so required field let's say you can leave that as you know this could be a you could be asking for a pdf or something uh, or whatever pdf file insert in there so all you need to do is go back to actually you need to save it first so that comes up so you go back to the mail section because ultimately this is what gets sent to you and you copy if i could copy that and put it in the attachments so that means anybody who uploads a file to this um to this form again i'm about to show you what it looks like on the website uh, that will then come in so i'm going to save that okay so how do you get this on the website what we're going to do first is actually create a contact page so simple as clicking here add new page and then type in contact top uh, i use well most likely everybody here as well will use this um wp bakery page builder so what we're going to do is add a text box and that will come up like this so this is a row at the top with one text box in it what we're going to do is actually make it two rows so just hover over the three lines and then you can make it two rows uh, and then we're going to edit the text box here just say just add a title to it so contact form you can obviously change this to whatever you like and explain you know what happens when you contact us you know how long it might take you to get back to them that kind of thing and then on the right hand side where it's the wee plus button click the plus uh, there is you can see here now that says contact form 7 you can also search for it so contact form 7 and then on the drop down select the form that you've made and save changes all you need to do now is publish the page but obviously if we go back to the website you know nothing will be will have changed you'll need to add it to the menu so again we'll go back to the, uh, the admin area of the website appearance and then menus uh, at the very top just make sure you're on menu one or whatever that header menu is you'll be able to kind of align it up uh, and then the most recent page that we've just created is contact so we're going to add this in here usually add it to the end of the menu and click save menu next we'll go here and then we'll refresh the page you'll see contact go into the contact form there's our title and the contact form that we've just created you'll see here now it's just like no file is chosen you can click on here you know it asks you to upload a file so just fill in the form hit submit and then that'll be as long as you have that's one thing to note, note here is go back to contact forms edit this form don't put a gmail or anything in here this here needs to be the the site that you're on so if your site is you know my domain.com you need to put my domain.com if you put your like you know billy at gmail.com it is not going to go through it's it's nothing's going to be accepted uh, so make sure that's your domain.com in both of these fields so hopefully that helps so it must be like like that so i'm going to save that and then that you can kind of see here if it's not right one configuration 
So sender email address does not belong to the site domain. So make sure that the site domain, so mine is mydiy.site. And you can see that error goes away. Just save that form. And there it is. Just head through this form, fill it in uh, and submit it. And then that will send an email directly to whatever you've put in to this area. All right, so hopefully that's a, a, a good um, a video for you to get set up with a contact form. All the best.